everyone welcome back in this confluence tutorial we are going to learn how you can add users in confluence cloud so administering users adding them removing them giving them permission to a particular application within confluence or the atlassian instance that you have the cloud instance is very important so that understanding is important so in order to add the users we simply have to have the admin privileges so if you have the administrator privileges you simply go to the settings here in the right hand side the cog wheel and in the general configuration in the settings section you will see that you have this site administration uh, user management below site administration so either you can go to the site administration here and if you are using the confluence cloud or jira cloud usually you will be having a site and below the site you will have the uh, you will have the org admin so there will be the organization level so if you go to the atlassian administration i want to show you that there is an organization level and below the organization level you'll have you'll have the site and the site will have the atlassian products that you will have so say for example this is the site that i am using so rcv academy one dot atlassian dot net and then it has two products so Con confluence and jira and when we manage the users right so here from here itself you can manage the site users or you can manage the users directly for these specific applications so it all depends where you want to go ahead there are multiple options to navigate and manage users so if we click on this manage users at the site level so i can click on the manage users and from here itself it will come directly to this so in the site it will come to the user management section okay now if i go back let me go back to the same screen that we were in so say for example at so say for example from here in the site administration user management right so it will it re redirected me to this particular screen to the user management so either i can click on this user management or i can simply scroll down and under security you will see users so this is exactly the same thing so this exactly will open the same window the user management or the users management for that particular site okay so once you are on that particular user management page so this is very important to understand that you are actually adding the users at the site level at a particular site level here you can simply invite the users so you can simply provide the email addresses of the users and invite the team members to add the users okay so say for example here i provide the email address rcv tutorials at gmail.com okay and let me just invite one particular user if you want to have these users so that they can invite other users you simply check this box okay i don't want to to do that so i can simply uncheck and click on invite team members and this will add you can see user invite user has been invited and it has been sent and you can see that the user that that we have just invited has been added and i can see the actions here i can see the status whatever the activity okay so no activity is there because now this user has to log in into the email account he will get the link and then once he activates his login and logs in you will see that this activity will change here the status will change here if i want to see the details so i can click on these ellipses here click on show details and it will show me the details for that particular user so now this user is added to this particular site right and this site has two applications two products so jira software and the confluence now once you will add that user it will have access to both of these products if you do not want this new user to have the access to any of the product you can switch that access from here so if i can simply toggle that off for the jira software and this particular user will only have access to confluence now okay and has site access is by default there you can also disable the site access for that particular user from the user panel here in terms of role the role is the basic role if you want to change the role for that particular user then simply select the drop down you can change it to trusted or site administrator by default it will be selected as the basic role 
Groups I'll discuss in the next tutorial. So groups are very important to understand. By default, this user will be part of the group confluence users. Okay. Because we were in the confluence application, right? And from the confluence, we went into the settings and then to the user management, uh, user administration, right? User management. So once you click on user management from here, it will open the new window or you can scroll down and go to the security. And from here, you can directly go to the users so the difference is that once you click on user management here at the site level it will open the admin dot class in in the new page in the user section it will open the admin in the same tab itself okay so that's the difference at the both places now going to the user level again here so i can simply go to this particular newly added user okay and if i want to delete it i can simply select that particular user right so the three ellipses here on the user portal and I can remove this user. Okay. In order to view the project role, I can view Jira project role or edit Jira properties. And from here, I can click on remove and click on remove user confirmation and the user should be removed now. So if I refresh this page, the user should not be part of the site access anymore, right? So you can see the user has been removed from the site. Okay. So this is a brief introduction of how you can add the user in the Jira instance or the Confluence instance. So basically we started from the Confluence instance, added the user. And then once you add the user, because your site is, so this is our site, right? So this is our Confluence cloud site or the, the product site, which within which we have access to Jira and Confluence. Now, when we go to the user management, we add the user, user will get access to the products and we can switch off the products. Say, for example, I do not want to give access to Jira uh, to a newly added user. I can toggle the button as we have seen previously, right? Adding users is very, very simple process. You simply have to invite the users. Okay. And then you can manage the users by going to the user details and you can see the actions of the users and the statuses at the status and this particular activity. Okay. In order to export the users, you simply click on export users and it will export all the users. And depending on what you choose the details here, you can download the CSV file for the users. The other important thing is around the user management. Say, for example, I go to the user management. Okay. Let me go to user management again. And I want to show you that instead of adding manually users one by one, you can provision the users through the external directory. So you simply go to the directory here. So from the Atlassian administration, which is admin.atlassian.com. Uh, and this is our site, right? Our CV Academy one. So in the directory, you can provision users. So you can basically go to user provisioning and here you can sync users from your external directory. And in the organization, in the corporates, basically, if you are a big organization, you will be doing, you will be provisioning users through the external directory and you won't be adding those users manually. But this tutorial is focusing on the smaller organization and the organizations which have little number of people working for them, maybe 10 to 20 or 50 users. If you do not have the external directory, you can very easily invite the users and add those users and manage those users in the Confluence Cloud the way that I have shown in this particular tutorial. So I think this is all about how you can add users in Confluence. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.